All right, last one. We are solving this differential equation given the initial condition. It's dy over dx equals e to the x minus y, y equals 2 when x equals 0. This is like the one I showed you in class where you have to remember your expo exponent rules. So what we did in class was when they're added. So when you add exponents, that means you multiply like, like bases. So when you're subtracting exponents, what that means is you are dividing like bases. So if I rewrite my differential equation, it would be e to the x divided by e to the y. And then from there, it's easy to get all your, term, your terms that involve y on one side and your terms that involve x on the other by multiplying both sides by e to the y and both sides by dx. And then I would integrate. And these are really easy because the integral of e to the y is just e to the y. The integral of e to the x is just e to the x. And don't forget about your plus c. And then when I plug in my initial values, I get e squared equals e to the 0 plus c. e to the 0, don't forget, is 1. So c equals e squared minus 1. And then plugging that into my particular, or excuse me, my general solution will give me the particular solution e to the y equals e to the x plus e squared minus 1. And my final step is to isolate my y. So I raise both left and right as exponents of, no, excuse me, got mixed up. In this case, instead of raising as exponents, I take the natural log of both sides. So it looks like this. The natural log of e to the y equals the natural log of e to the x plus e squared minus 1. And then natural log of e cancels. And you're left with y equals natural log of e to the x plus e squared minus 1. Now, for this one, you may be um, tempted to do some canceling. Like, you may assume that you can separate this into natural log of e to the x plus natural log e squared minus natural log of 1. And unfortunately, it doesn't work that way with natural logs, only when it's an exponent of like bases. So, in this case, that would be my final answer. I cannot take it any further as far as simplification goes. So, that would be the particular solution of this differential equation using separation of variables.